Hello guys, today I would like to talk about a very special plugin for Photoshop. This plugin is for removing noise, but what kind of noise? This plugin is to remove patterned noise or artifact removal or moir suppression. I find it very useful, especially when working with old pictures to restore. This plugin is brought by Jufa, and you can download it at this site, jufa.com slash download. <clears throat> so I'm going to download this package and show you how to install and run this filter. This plugin is now available only for macOS and for 10.5 version and 10.6, so I download the 10.5 version because this is the machine I'm running into. Download. I finished downloading the plugin, so I go to my download folders. I open the DMG file, and now we have to take this package and copy into the plugin folder in pho into Photoshop. So as you can see, here we have the plugins, but we also have a license wizard application to help registering this application. This application is free, but you have to, to license it with this application. So I copy all these files, okay? And I paste them into my Photoshop folder, plugins, filters, and here, Jufa plugins, I paste them all inside this, this folder. Now, to run the license wizard, you have first to ask for a license. Okay, you have two options. The first option is register your copy and the second is obtain a license. First, you have to obtain a license. So, select this option, click continue, and you insert in these fields your name and your email address and you will receive a serial number in your email address. Then you go back to this license wizard, you select register your copy, continue, and you, you put your key in here. Once you finish this, this process, the plugin is ready to work. Okay, first of all, I would like to talk about how this filter works. Fast Fourier Transform, FFT, is a mathematical way to translate a function into another. Using this algorithm, we can take an image, <clears throat> in this case, the red channel of this image, and show the same information in a different way to see or to reveal the noise patterns and to easily remove them. So, how this plugin works. You take an image, you run the FFT filter, you work in the red channel, you make your work, and then you use the inverse of this function, IFFT, to run back to your original image, but without any noise, removing that noise pattern. This is a very strong filter. I happen to use very professional noise removal tools like Noise Ninja or Nikon Nick Define, and they work very well, but on general noise. The F FT filter is very important when you work with pattern noise. There is no other filter on the market capable of doing this job that great. Okay, so now we work in Photoshop and as I said before, I use this plugin to remove all the paper texture in old photos that I used to restore. So I'm going to open my photo and show you the problem that we have in this photo. 
I convert the profile to my working profile and as you can see this is a very old photo and we have a visible texture of the paper in here. So what can I do with this? I can use some noise removal tool like median okay and put here a value of two pixels and as you can see I can remove a little bit of this texture but I lose a very big amount of details. Now I these differences are very subtle so I don't know if you can see these differences on your screen in this tutorial but try it on your own and you will see the difference. So with the noise filter, medium filter or noise ninja we can remove a little bit of this noise but we lose a big quantity of, of details especially the image becomes very blurry. So I undo that and I make a copy of the layer and I run the filter. We have here the filter Jufa that we've just installed. We are going to use FFT and IFFT. First of all, the first step is to convert the image to a 16-bit image. Even if your image is an 8-bit image, you should convert this image to 16 bits for in order to for this plugin to work better. Okay, I convert this image and now I run the field. Jufa FFT. Okay, now as you can see the image is a little bit messy, but if we go in the channels tab, we can see that we have now three different channels. In the red channel we have the, the noise patterns, in the green channel we have the face and in the blue channel we have a grayscale version of the image. So we have to work just on the red channel. So let's activate the red channel and as you can see we have these kind of stars all over, all over the image. Okay, now we select just the red channel and as you can see we have these little stars. This is the way that the FFT filters represents the, the pattern noise in this image. So we have to mask out these stars in the, channel, in the red channel and then to run the inverse FFT filter. So I happen to have a very special brush but you can use your own create this shape brush or just use a rounded normal brush. I'm going to paint black, full black, to mask out the stars on the red channel. Okay. We don't have to paint in the biggest center of star because this star does not represent noise in this image. Okay, so I think I painted all the little stars. Okay, now we select all the three channels. We go back to the layer and we have to run the inverse FFT filter. Once we've done that, we will have in the green channel a clean image. Okay, now don't look at the color. We just want the luminosity information to use on the original image to remove the noise. So in the red channel we have the mask, in the blue channel we have the original grayscale image, and in the green channel we have the clean image we want to use. Okay, now we have the green channel with a clean image, so I have to remove by now this background image just because to not accidentally flatten all the channels in the channel tab. So for now I will be deleting this layer. I go to the channels tab and I create two copies of the green channels because it's the clean information that we want to use is in the clean in the green channel. So duplicate green copy one duplicate green copy two. Now I have to delete the two channels <clears throat> whose information I don't need anymore, like the blue channel and shift and the red channel. 
I take them down to the trash icon and delete them. Flatten layers, OK. So now I have three green channels. I have to merge them down to an RGB image. So I go to Image, Mode, RGB. OK. OK, I imported back the original image to see the before and after. And as you can see, we successfully removed the old texture of the paper. And we still have a nice sharp image. We did not blur the image out like with other noise filters like media noise. Now, if we want to keep the color information of the original image, we have just to change the blend mode of the new image to luminosity. So we are going to use the luminosity channel of the first image and the color channel of the second one. So we will have the original color and the clean image as a texture. I change it to luminosity and as you can see we have the same color as the, of the original image but we don't have the texture. Okay, this wraps up this tutorial. I hope you enjoy it and thank you for watching. Thanks Jufa for his wonderful plugin. Go to the site in the description, download the Jufa plugin and use the FFT filter to remove noise. Thank you for watching.